surprising part has been that SPACs have uh, invited less litigation than normal IPOs. I was running through the numbers the other day, but basically the litigation risk on SPACs mergers has been about one fourth of a normal IPO. So I don't see the litigation. Obviously, that doesn't mean you put projections which are pie in the sky. And uh, frankly, a good investment banker will not let you, uh, like Weber won't let you do that because there's reputation risk to them also, plus a liability risk to them also. Let me try to give three examples of why uh, you want to look at uh, SPACs to merge with as opposed to doing a direct uh, IPO as uh, Mr. whether it's in India or a direct listing outside. And Mr. Muthukumar rightly pointed out, both are actually just a capital raising events. Absolutely. And the, the three reasons to, that come to my mind are valuation, valuation, and valuation. The cost of uh, merging with the SPAC can be from as little as 5% to as much as Mr. Muthukumar pointed out, 15% or more. Tomorrow night is an absolute myth to say that at least a traditional IPO in the US is cheaper than a merger with the SPAC. And of course, the SPAC mergers have other benefits such as um, you know speed to market I think speed to market ability to sell your projections those are the two big features